Today, we are printing the vinyl skin for our custom PC number 1 on my trusty and dusty inkjet printer, using printable vinyl sheets purchased off of Amazon. This thick sticker paper must be loaded one sheet at a time, to prevent jamming or a misfeed. The printer is set to color, glossy HP paper, best quality. The first page is done, in goes the next. All six pages have been printed. Four pages are for the four parts of the top of the case, and the other two pages, are for each side panel. As you can see, the printer did a good job of contrasting the color and tone, making the print bright and vibrant, as well as staying true to the integrity of the original image. Next, we will cut out our panels. Cut with the image side on the left, and the blank side on the right, to get the best cutting view. Always be extra careful on the inside edges, where the sticker will join against the next sticker, as any gaps or flaws, will be more noticeable in these areas. I fit the two side panel pieces, to get an idea of where they will lie on the chassis. I also need to determine, whether I need to shave off excess, or not. It looks good, so I continue cutting. With the cutting complete, I can now fit the four top panel pieces, to get a good look at what I can expect the finished product to look like, as well as make sure everything lines up nicely. Looks good. Now it's time for cleaning and application. I start by removing any stickers or logos. In this case there is a, Windows 7, sticker. Next, I apply a small pool of isopropyl alcohol, in the very center of the case. For beginners, soaking a small area of a paper towel is just as good. Then I wipe down the entire surface. Thank you. 
I continue wiping, until the alcohol has dissipated. Next we need low tack painters tape. We will use this to hold down the panels we are not applying. Now the first piece is applied. Be careful when separating, as any unevenly cut edges, can become big tears. I start by lining up one corner, then picking a spot, where the image lines up with the adjacent piece. Make sure it is close, but not overlapping, and hold the sheet tight, so no bubbles or wrinkles form. Only attach the very edge first, before smoothing. Now, I repeat this process for the other three panels. The second two, will need to have slots cut for the handle. Don't forget to retain the cut material, for the handle skin. I use a retracted pen tip as a stylus to score into the vinyl, the edge of the handle area, and handle itself. The indentations show me where I need to cut. I make any adjustments, then repeat for the last panel.
I tape the plug together on the back side, this will be used to fit the handle skin. The same methods are used for the side panels, however, I also cover any scraped black metal, using dollar store furniture markers. It will give a cleaner look once the skins are applied. Now, it is time to apply the last and final skin.
I do a quick cleanup, pop the faceplate back on, and then we get to see what she looks like.